we've learned that body fluids display a variety of pH values, from strongly acidic fluids, such as the stomach's gastric juice, with a pH in the range of 1 to 3, to fluids with a weakly basic or alkaline pH, such as bile secreted by the liver, having a pH between 7.6 and 8.6. The pH values of these and other fluids are kept balanced within a narrow range through various homeostatic mechanisms involving the circulatory, respiratory, and urinary systems. This body-wide balancing act is important since metabolic processes are sensitive to changes in pH and don't work well when a fluid's pH is above or below its normal range. For example, a condition called acidosis occurs if blood's pH drops below 7.35. You can remember this with the phrase, sliding the pH down, where the D in acidosis corresponds to the word down. This condition severely affects the physiology of the central nervous system by slowing down the conduction of nerve impulses. Prolonged acidosis causes the person to become disoriented, and if the pH drops below 7, the person enters into a coma, with death soon following. If the pH of the blood increases above 7.45, a condition called alkalosis occurs. You can remember this with the phrase, kicking the pH up, where the K in alkalosis corresponds to the word kicking. This condition has the opposite effect of acidosis, in which the central and peripheral nervous systems become overexcited. Alkalosis causes the nerves to repeatedly fire, even without stimuli, which leads to nervousness, muscle spasms, twitching, convulsions, and death. The body is always taking acids and bases into the blood by ingestion, as well as forming them as products through normal metabolic reactions. These acids and bases can then disrupt normal fluid pH because they easily ionize into hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions when in solution. So it is critically important that the body balances pH through negative feedback systems. One major way that the body stabilizes fluid pH is through buffer systems. A buffer is a chemical that can take strong acids and bases and convert them into weak acids and weak bases. This prevents large changes in body fluid pH. You're familiar with buffers if you've ever taken an antacid to relieve heartburn or acid indigestion in the stomach caused by hot spicy foods. Antacids counteract the acidic environment of the stomach and esophagus of the GI tract and increase the pH towards a more neutral or weakly basic pH. Buffers are able to do what they do because they're actually weak acids and weak bases themselves. They can perform their buffering functions because of their ability to add or remove hydrogen ions. The most important buffering system in the blood and extracellular fluid is the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. In this system, carbonic acid, H2CO3, acts as a weak acid and a hydrogen ion donor, while bicarbonate ion, HCO3, acts as a weak base and a hydrogen ion taker. If blood pH is too high, carbonic acid in the bloodstream will dissociate into bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. The equation moves from left to right if blood pH is too high. As the concentration of hydrogen ions in the blood increases, the pH decreases. If blood pH gets too low, 
the bicarbonate ions will react with the excess hydrogen ions to produce more of the weak carbonic acid, which prevents the development of a more acidic pH. The equation now moves in reverse, from right to left, if blood pH is too low. The free hydrogen ions are now removed from the blood plasma and locked up in the structure of carbonic acid and no longer contribute to a drop in pH. So as the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the blood decreases, the pH increases. This buffer system is always on and constantly seesawing back and forth through negative feedback to maintain normal blood pH homeostasis.